welcome back to my channel i'm back and i'm just as emotionally unstable as the last time you saw me if not more honestly so for those of you that are new here if you didn't already leave uh my name is amanda ray i was born and raised in a famous cult known as the order i left when i was 17 almost 18 years old and i will leave the link to my story if you're interested in hearing that in the description box down below i also have a lot of uh ex-order member stories in my on my youtube channel i'll leave those linked down below as well if you're if you're curious about like what this polygamous cult is all about but today i'm going to be talking about my relationship to the leader of the cult because a lot of you guys ask you know how are you related to jessica andrea chanel michelle allison and so for so long when i was on escaping polygamy people just called jessica my sister andrea my sister, like they thought they were my sisters and so today we'll be talking about what my actual relation is to them, to the leader Paul, you know, where it all fits in there. And we'll be talking about a lot of incest because we're going to go through the family tree and you're going to see how much incest, well, we're, we're, there's no way we could get through the entire family tree in the order, but we're going to get through the first part so you guys can kind of finally have an idea and a picture of where I fit into the scheme of things. Whew, I'm already out of breath. So I, I decided on two different colors of strings and I'm going to explain them to you so that you guys can understand. Okay. Green line means married, okay? Red line means siblings, okay? Both means married to their sibling. <laughs> okay. We got tape, scissors, we got paper. Wait, where'd my tape go? Let's start with, since you guys all know who the leader is right now, Brother Paul, right? Paul Kingston. Let's start with him, actually, okay? The man on the watchtower. So here we have, I, I'm just doing this for me. I'm just gonna put his picture there in the edit bay, but I can't see that because it's not edited yet. So for me, we're gonna do PK. PK, PPKK. Paul Kingston, okay? Leader of the order, his number is nine. His dad is my grandpa. This is just gonna be a lot of work. So here we have his dad. His dad, and let's do his mom. Mom, dad. We have Ortel, my grandpa, who is his dad, who is the leader before, okay? Should we have like a special sticker for those people that were the leaders? The order only had three, okay? Ortel, so Eldon, Ortel, Paul. So here's Ortel, who is the leader before. His number is eight. Paul is nine, Ortel is eight. The leader before them was number one because it was the original leader, right? Eldon. <laughs> Please don't leave it, we'll get less confusing in a second. Okay, so leader died, passed on to his son died. Mother, Paul's mother, is LaDonna. And on her gravestone it is 8-2 because she was the second wife. The first wife was Kareem, but she could never have babies. And he, the, the story is they love each other, but then he, so, I heard this from an older generation order member, they said that Ortel had to marry within his bloodline for his first wife. So they were supposedly in love, LaDonna and Ortel, but he had to marry Kareem first. So, and she didn't like that. She didn't like that at all. But it happened, he married the other girl, and then they got married. She's eight too. She was the top biatch though. She was the biatch. She was a biatch, okay. Green is married. These two are married. <laughs> Ortel has a lot of other wives though. Her, and then he has like multiple more wives, right? And then I'm just gonna put this over here. We'll get into that in a second, because because in a second you're gonna need to know that. So here we have Paul, okay? We can't forget seven brothers at the leadership and two sisters, okay? I'm not doing it in order. Paul's not the oldest. Joe, Big Joe's the oldest, but I'm not gonna do it in order, because I don't want to. It doesn't really matter at this point who's the oldest and who's not. Daniel's older than Paul, and everyone always wondered why Daniel wasn't the next leader. Until they got to know him, and they're like, oh, that's why. So we have Paul, who's number nine. We have Daniel, DK. I wonder if his middle name is Isaiah. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> his number is 15. Okay. Uh, we have Jesse, number 48. We have Big Joe. He passed away, so I don't even know if we need to. He's deceased. David. Number 33, Hiram. Hiram is, I forgot his number. Irrelevant, no one cares. Jason, Jason's the youngest boy. Everyone talked about him being um, spoiled by LaDonna, his mom. 
even his brothers, it's a known thing where the brothers say that, oh, the reason why, this is their words, the reason why Jason's so overweight is because mom gave him everything. So he's just a little, his number's 49. He's the last one to get a number out of all of them um, because he's the youngest. Yeah, he's a little spoiled brat, okay? I feel sorry for his wife. Well, at least his favorite wives who try to spoil him. He has three favorite wives, everybody knows. I don't know how they... It's basically having, an, like, another baby. Anyways, so we have the seven brothers, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They also have two sisters. We don't talk a lot about the sisters. And it's weird. They're, like, polar opposites. So we have Rachel Young and Ruth. Ruth Brown? Is that her last name? So we have Rachel and Ruth. Rachel is a devoted and, you know, believes in this whole shh. And Ruth is more of like the older sibling that doesn't know why they're doing Anyways, here we go. Seven brothers, two sisters, okay? I'm gonna just use a purple line. The parents, okay? The parents of these children. So green is married, purple is their child. You get the idea, right? So the red line goes through all of these. Paul the leader, all the way down, Ruth. I think Ruth is older than Paul, actually. I should have done it in order, but it's also like, it's irrelevant, the order. All you need to know is Paul's not the oldest. So we have red line, all siblings. Purple line is children of these. Green line is married, right? So Ortel obviously didn't just marry LaDonna, so there's this line that goes all the way here. Um, Cream would be right here, the first wife. First wife would have been right here. She didn't have any live kids that lived. So that, that's the first life cycle. And then, here's where I come into play, okay? So all the way over here, wife number six is my grandma. Grandma Isabel. So she was wife number six. So she on her gravestone says eight dash six because she's the sixth wife of number eight. Green line is married. So here we have our tell. The first wife was Green. That was number two. Three, four, five, six is Grandma Isabel. She's not the last. I forgot how many wives or tell has. I'll insert it here. She had a lot of kids. I don't want to put down all the kids that she had because that's going to be so much work for me and I'm really just showing you my relation. Maybe in a future video I can show you the interwebs of it, but we will be talking about more of her kids in a second. I'll, I'll show you guys though. So, child line. My dad, okay? Number 36. That's my dad. It's interesting that Jesse got his number 33, or sorry, not Jesse, David got his number 33, and then that means my dad got his number 36 before Jesse got number 48, or Jason got number 49. So I, I keep, that's why I keep thinking it's an age thing, because they're around the same age. His older brother got number 26, so his older brother got a number before David even got a number. Pointless information. Anyways, here's my dad, okay? Marriage line. <laughs> my dad married three women. One, two, okay. So we have first wife, second wife, third wife. First wife and the second wife are sisters. Sisters and sister wives. Got another red line here. My dad's gonna hate this part, but you, you did it. Well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. We have a red line here. I am, I am not of an incest marriage, right? These two are related. These, these ones are not related. But he has a green line, which means he's married, and a red line, which means, that's right, siblings, right? Red line is siblings. So this girl, <laughs> has the same dad. So my camera died for a second, but, but you get the idea, right? So my dad married to his half sister. So I put this line up here because it's the Porter mom. I'm pretty sure she was one of the last moms that married Ortel. So she was a sister wife to my grandma. Sister wives married the same guy. That means this third wife, her kids only have one grandpa. Hello? This one. <laughs> Ortel is the only grandpa these kids have. They, they may have two grandmas, right? Because my dad's mom and her mom. So two grandmas, one grandpa. Which also begs the question, because you know how your uncles, your mom's brother and your aunt's your mom's, your aunt is your dad's sister and your uncle's is your mom's brother. So that means that's 
these kids, I'm not going to put them all down here, but she has eight kids. Just, just imagine. Eight kids. Mommy, daddy. Daddy is mommy's brother. So that means daddy is my uncle. And mommy is daddy's sister, so mommy is my auntie. So I am my own cousin because I am my uncle's son and my aunt's son. So my siblings are my siblings, but they're also my cousins. It gets weirder. Since we're on the topic of the third wife and how the mom, so Ortel dies, okay? Ortel dies, but, but Miss Porter over here wants to keep having kids. <sighs> Green line is marriage line. Green means go. Go get married. Miss Porter over here was married to Ortel, then Ortel dies, okay? Right? Had, had this one. Then when Ortel dies, she goes and marries Big Joe over here. That's right. That's right, you guys. That's right. You were here first. <laughs> Married her husband's son. Married her husband's son. We forgot about the most important person in this whole map, okay? And that is me. Forget about the rest of the kids. So my dad has 15 kids with this wife, okay? Should we put a number? Does it matter? Sure, we'll put a number. 15 kids. So that means I have 15 half-siblings and cousins because our moms are siblings and we have the same dad, right? Okay, so 15 kids with the first wife. My mom had 10 kids. And that was me in there, you know, Eskel, Rachel, Cammy, right? Third wife has eight kids. So this is why some of you guys were saying that my DNA test was inaccurate. I believe that it was accurate. Because if you look at it this way, my mom and the first wife are sisters, full sisters, right? And then they're married to the same guy. So these 15 kids are closer related to me than cousins, right? They're closer related, I mean, I'm pretty closely related to these ones too because it's my dad's sister. But I'm, tell I'm gonna tell the story again because people don't believe it. I'm gonna keep telling it. One of the sons from the first wife took a DNA test. Me and Eskel, right, from the second wife took a DNA test. We all put our DNA test together and we were comparing. It came back that the son of the first wife was my full brother, and Eskel was my cousin. And my thought process is, because the first wife's son and me, we were born the same year and we both look a lot like our dad. Eskel looks a lot like our mom. So my thought is, me and the first wife's kid, me and the first wife's kid, so my half brother, we must have more of my dad's genes, and it shows that we're half, or that we're full brother and sister, and Eskel must have more of mom's genes to pull up that he's my cousin. I don't understand how that works, but DNA, Ancestry DNA said I am this brother's full sibling and Eskel's cousin. We need to do, have someone do some research on this, <laughs> okay? How does it show up that my half sibling is my full sibling? It makes sense though because his mom, all, we could have just had the same gene pool somehow, like a bunch of the same genes because his mom and my mom, again, sisters. So we could have just had a lot of the genes from here and a lot of the genes from here to show up that we're siblings. But Eskel must have just got a batch of genes somewhere else that said that he's my cousin. I don't know. I'm just telling you what happened. Okay, now that we have the explanation of here's the leader, here's the second wife, here's my grandma, here's Paul and all of his siblings, here's where I come into play, right? My dad, this makes my dad, Sorry if it confused anyone. If my dad's dad is Ortel, and Paul Kingston's dad, and all of them's dad is Ortel, that makes my dad their half-sibling, right? So here's the red line for siblings again. Also, it makes Mrs. Porter over here half-siblings to all of them too. So we're just gonna do one big line to show my dad is siblings to them. By the end of this video, it is gonna be really confusing, but if you follow this far along, <laughs> then you're good. So here we have my dad. Let's just say this is here for Mrs. Porter too. And siblings to all of them, right? This is a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Half siblings to Paul, Daniel. Okay, so that's what that means. Like, ooh. My dad, half siblings to all of them because his mom is Isabel who married Ortel. Same with Mrs. Porter over here. Half siblings to all of them because her mom was married to Ortel, which means her mom 
married her half-brother, right? Because we drew this line where when Ortel died, she went over and married Ortel's son. I would like to know in the comments which form of incest or inbreeding is the most shocking to you guys, because at this point, I don't know. Here's me, right? That makes, that makes these guys my uncles and aunts, right? Because my dad's siblings. So that's my uncles and aunts. That also means that this one is my aunt too, because it's my dad's sibling. So aunt, and, and this is my aunt, because my mom's sister. Anyways, so everybody, everybody is my aunts and uncles. So where does Jessica, Andrea, Chanel, Michelle, Allison, where do all of them come into play? I'm glad you asked. Let's start with <laughs> all of Daniel's daughters, okay? We got a lot of them. I feel like Daniel has the most kids leave per year because he's such a like terrible dad that it's like whenever I hear that someone left, I, I just assume it's one of Daniel's kids. So we have Jessica, Andrea, they're from one wife, okay? The interesting thing is Jessica and Andrea, so they're full siblings from Heidi. <laughs> this is going to be so hard to do. Okay, here's Heidi right here, okay? Heidi Foster. Let's put her name up there. So here's Daniel's wife. We got Heidi. We're just gonna hyper focus on these few, okay? So we got Heidi, and then we have Allison's mom actually is siblings to Heidi. So, so same situation how my mom and this mom are sisters and so the kids are even closer related. Uh, Andrea and Jessica's mom and, let's put Allison in there. Andrea and Jessica's mom and Allison's mom are sisters too. Allison's mom got married to Daniel first and then Heidi. Allison's mom, Andrea and Jessica's aunt. Allison. Obviously they had way more kids. Let's put Shirley in there. And Shirley was engaged to uh, Hiram. Shirley was engaged to Daniel. Okay, so here's Shirley. Let's squeeze her in right here. Shirley was engaged to Daniel at the same time as Heidi. Since we're over here, I'm just gonna scoot you guys a little bit. Okay, then we have Gerald, Chanel, Colleen, and beyond. They're, they're, they had a bunch of kids, right? That makes any of Daniel's kids my cousins because my dad and Daniel are brothers. So any of these kids of Paul, Daniel, Jesse, Big Joe, David, Hiram, Jason, Rachel, Ruth, any of their kids is gonna be my cousin because we have the same grandpa. So me and Allison, same grandpa. Me and Andrea and Jessica, same grandpa. Me and Gerald, Chanel, Colleen, same grandpa. But technically Allison is closer related to Michelle than me because I'll show you where Michelle fits in. We all know Michelle's dad is Jesse, right? Her grandpa is Ortel. Her dad is Jesse. Who's her mom? Where does her mom fit in? I'll tell you. Remember Ruth? Remember Ruth? Jesse's sister? Well, Ruth had a baby that ended up being Michelle's mom. Michelle's mom is Ruth. Here's Michelle. Okay? Let's write it in. Michelle. And where's Michelle's dad? Well, what do you know? Michelle's dad is Jesse. Michelle is the child of Jesse. Her mom is Ruth's child. Ruth is Jesse's sister. Jesse is her uncle. So Michelle's mom married her uncle. And the funny thing is, when they were scared of getting prosecuted for living polygamy, then I remember a lot of David's, where's David? A lot of David's kids would be like, calling him Uncle David because they didn't want to call him dad because they didn't want to get in trouble for living polygamy so they'd be like Uncle David, Uncle David. A lot of Jesse's kids did the same thing, Uncle Jesse, Uncle Jesse. But for Michelle's case, Michelle's mom, that's true. That is her Uncle Jesse. So Uncle Jesse is very accurate. And honestly, for a lot of David's kids, it was true too because David married a lot of his sisters and so did Jesse. Should we dive into that for a second? Do we have enough time? How much time do we have? Well, let's hyper focus on the inbreeding for a second, okay? So we have a line of inbreeding here with my dad marrying his sister and her having eight kids with him, right? Because she has the same dad as him. And then we have Michelle's mom who marries her uncle. How many of Grandma Isabel's daughters married Ortel's sons? Again, remember, Grandma Isabel married Ortel. So that would make any of Grandma Isabel's daughters siblings, right? But Grandma Isabel, maybe we'll have to save this for another episode. Grandma Isabel had two daughters 
Mary David Kingston, who went to prison, two daughters. And she had three daughters married Jesse, only one is alive now, and one daughter married Jason, and she died. Remember my, my story of Andrea's story? I'll leave that link down below. But so, of all of her daughters, there's only three that are alive of the six. And they all married here. All the ones that stayed married their half sibling. The ones that left, she had two leave. And you guys met Juliana on one of my lives. That's my aunt. That's one of my dad's sisters that left. A lot of incest. A lot of inbreeding. I I want to do another... Like, let me know if you guys were just confused this whole time or if the, the lines helped the... <laughs> I don't even know if it helped, but... If if this helped and, and it helps you to have a better understanding of where how I'm related to Andrea, Jessica, Alice, and Michelle, I can do another episode because I have a lot of you guys asking how am I related to LaDonna Young, how am I related to Priscilla Tucker. If you're interested in doing even more episodes of bringing even more to get you guys to understand, let me know and I'll do another episode like this. I know this was a lot, but I hope it made sense. I enjoyed it. It was actually kind of fun for me to kind of, you know, go back to the family bush. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Culty Cup of Coffee on Sundays. Bye!